Hello and welcome to a new episode of Anesthesia Tools. We all use flow meters and anesthesia machine in one form or the other. There are three classes of them. First, the conventional flow meters, next, hybrid ones, and then, the electronic flow meters. Dr. Sanish will take you through these types. Let's check it out. Okay, now we discuss regarding the conventional flow meters. These are the conventional flow meters because you can see the flow control knobs controlling the gas flow. As you open the flow control knobs, the flow is registered and you read the gas flow from the bobbin location in the side tube. You can see different gases have different flow control knobs and the corresponding flow meter tubes. And these flow control knobs can be identified by their chemical name written over there and there is a color code also you can see oxygen white nitrous oxide blue and white and black for air and these are touch coded also these are largely fluted ones for the oxygen and nitrous oxide and air are uh, touch wise also they are different so we can see that um, these are the side tubes and as the gas flow increases the bobbin gets pushed up when you discuss the safety features in anesthesia workstations or machine also, we can find that uh, many of the safety features are instituted at this level of flow control knobs. And you can find that uh, the flow meters are arranged in sequence so that the oxygen is at the downstream end when it joins the back bar. And the proportionating systems like link 25 is installed at this level. Each flow meter is specific for a given gas. That means it is calibrated at 20 degrees Celsius at an ambient pressure of 101.3 kilopascals. So you cannot interchange oxygen flow meter with nitrous oxide or air. This is also ensured by use of mechanisms like pin index during the assembly of the flow meter. When you open the flow control knobs, depending on the gas flow, the bobbin gets pushed up and you can read the level from the side tube and understand how much flow is actually happening. So this is what happens in the conventional gas flow meters. Here you can also see that uh, even in the backdrop, there is color code. You can find white behind the oxygen, blue color behind nitrous oxide and uh, black and white behind air. One more thing you can note here is for each gas there are two side tubes. One is uh, narrow and long and the other one is relatively broader. And you can find that uh, these are calibrated. The first one is calibrated for flow from 0 to 1000 ml per minute and the second one from 0 to 10 or 15 liters per minute. It starts from 0 again. But you can see that when the flow is initiated, say if I am keeping a flow of 400 ml, you won't be able to appreciate from the uh, larger side tube. So this is basically for low flow anesthesia practice. Behind the oxygen flow meter, the minimum mandatory oxygen is also mentioned. In this machine, it is mentioned as 25 to 75 ml per minute. That's also clearly mentioned there. Flow meters of this type are called cascade tubes because you can see two side tubes arranged in series. This is basically to facilitate low flow anesthesia so that you can give even less than one liter per minute with better precision. This is a GE Care Station 620. This is an example of a hybrid flow meter. Here we can see the flow meter control knobs for oxygen, nitrous oxide and air but we don't find separate flow meters for any of these agents. We can see a conventional flow meter indicating the total flow. So basically we can set this total flow and then the mixing parameters we are setting by separately adjusting oxygen and either air or nitrous oxide. For the user friendliness they have shown electronically graphically displayed uh, flow meter here. So as I increase the oxygen, you can see the oxygen flow meter with a graphical bobbin going up and the flow, meet, uh, flow values in liters per minute is indicated here. Once I open nitrous oxide, 
that is also indicated the flow is indicated in liters per minute so here actually the mixing is done manually by the anesthesiologist calculation we basically set the total flow and the differential flow oxygen and the second agent to achieve your target uh, FgO2 or fraction of given O2 here remember this is not the value patient is getting that we have to monitor with a gas analyzer separately this is the inspired oxygen concentration this is the end tidal concentration ultimately what matters is the end tidal concentration not what you are giving from the gas mixing unit this is a dragger pursues machine where you can find electronic flow meters because there is electronic gas mixing we don't have separate knobs to control oxygen air or nitrous oxide the flow meter as you can see here is a virtual flow meter uh, which will show the oxygen and the second agent either um, air or nitrous oxide as we choose okay here nitrous oxide has appeared so what we actually do is set the percentage of oxygen see if i put 40 percent oxygen then corresponding nitrous oxide will be automatically dialed by this software and we need not have two different flow meters adjusted so that we get a given oxygen of 40 percent in this example so this is an example of a virtual flow meter so now we know about different types of flow meters in the modern anesthesia workstations thanks for watching your comments and suggestions are most welcome until we meet next time goodbye and take care